Hey everyone, it's Ella Snyder and today I'm going to be doing a video that I have been loving to watch on YouTube recently and that is 21 Outfits in 21 Minutes. What the up, it's Ella. What if all the pieces don't fit right? self-explanatory but basically I am just going to be going through my closet and putting on 21 outfits and showing them to you in the span of 21 minutes. Before I start trying on outfits and showing you the things from my closet I just wanted to preface by saying that everything I'm putting outfits together with is like a weird amalgamation of all of the articles of clothing I've collected over the past few years and I definitely like try to shop sustainably and like I preach sustainability but there are things in my closet that are like from Shein and like fast fashion brands that are really not great for the environment. I just wanted to say I'm no saint and like there are things in my closet that I'm not proud to own but I feel cute wearing them so I'm gonna continue to wear them because I already own them and I don't want them to go to waste. But yeah, I just wanted to preface with that. A lot of my nice things were gifted to me through PR or from ex-boyfriends. So yeah, I'm just gonna be trying on clothes that I feel cute in and hopefully they inspire you to create some looks out of your own closet. Let's go. This is what I'm starting the video in. And this is like a really kind of all over the place outfit, but I'd probably wear this to like a little lunch date. My skirt is from Urban Outfitters, my sweater is from Shein, but it's totally a knockoff of House of Sunny, and then my bag is Prada, I got it on Depop, I have my AirPods connected, and then these like replica Gucci loafers, and yeah, that's the look, let's go to the next one. This outfit is almost exclusively Marc Jacobs, we stan this hoodie is from the most recent heaven mark jacobs collection they just opened a pop-up on fairfax and i got this there this skirt is also from the same collection designed by at ava nope on instagram i adore her these shoes are r13 they're just like platform sneakers this bag is the mark jacobs pillow bag most of my rings are from Shein, I know, but yeah, and the gold ones were my mom's. My sunglasses were hand-me-downs and they are vintage Fendi. I would say that this look is basically like going to the mall with some friends in the suburbs, wanting to be that girl at the mall who like didn't really try too hard, but also like looks really cool and good and hot so yeah get into it all right um so my top for this look is from a brand called the open products found them on instagram my skirt for this look is from urban outfitters my bag that i would pair with this look is the prada mini susudo nylon tote bag. These glasses were gifted to me by Lexola, which is a super cool Instagram account as well. This necklace is from a brand called Omnis or Omnis Studios. Sorry about the light reflection of my glasses. I'm trying to avoid it. Earrings. I can't remember where they were from. I'm pretty sure they were my mom's. Same rings. This bracelet was also my mom's. As you can tell, I'm really starting strong with the skirts it's because I don't want to put on pants yet um but yeah this look I like it because it shows off my little Vivian Westwood tattoo and my dose one vaccine band-aid so we love that um but yeah this little vest is navy and it's mohair and I thrifted it this skirt is from Shein yeah. These shoes are Steve Madden. They were um, gifted to me when I worked for them. These sunglasses, I think, belong to my friend Brent McKeever. Brent, if you're watching this, 
let me know if these are yours and if you want them back. I honestly love them. So if they're not yours, don't lie to me and say they are because I know they're fucking cute. But yeah, I love these sunglasses. I don't know where they came from, to be honest. This bag is the Dior Saddle bag. All of the other accessories are the same. All my outfits are just like for days with the girlies, but maybe we'll get a little crazier soon. Look five. This look is very much giving me early 2000s camp counselor, which is why I'm carrying my little iPad portfolio because it, I had to have like clipboard vibes, okay? Yeah, this is my camp counselor look. I feel like this video would be incomplete without one. This shirt is also heaven mark jacobs these shorts these jorts let's hear it for the jorts let's hear it for the back um these are levi's wedgie jeans that i bought at bloomingdale's when i lived in new york and they were always like a little too short for me and like i don't really do ankle jeans um because why would I want my ankles to be cold if I'm wearing pants, you know? So <laughs> I cut them into shorts and this is what they're giving now. I am re-wearing the Steve Madden platform slides because they're literally the most comfortable freaking shoes. Hashtag not sponsored, but yeah, I like honestly just don't want to take them off. All of my accessories are the same. I paired this look with some dollar store sunglasses because I think that they're fun and they tie in all of the black accessories. Come on kitties, grab the grab the leash. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Another casual look. I would probably wear this on a date actually. I feel like it's like kind of cute and flirty. The sweater is from Shein. This video should really be sponsored by them, but it's not. I spent my hard-earned money there um in the past these jeans are um made well perfect vintage jeans i don't have shoes on but i'm gonna show you the shoes that i would wear with this the shoes i'd wear with this outfit because the colors literally match like so well like it'd be so coordinated these chanel sneakers they're a little beat up but they would look so good with this outfit. Just picture it, just picture it. I want to be taken on a date in this look. I think the subliminal messaging here is that I want to be taken on a date. But this is another fun little flirty look. I have a heel on, which is crazy mind blowing. I kept the same jeans on. Like I said, these are the Madewell Perfect Vintage jeans. This sweater I thrifted, but it is Diane von Furstenberg. A friend of mine made this necklace for me, and then all of the other accessories are the same. You killed it. My shoes are from a brand called Stein Goya. Okay, that's what this look was. Okay, this is like definitely a potential 22nd birthday look right here. This is just like sexy, flirty, girly, we stan. The details of this outfit are as follows. This dress is from Daisy Daisy TV, otherwise known as Daisy. This jacket was thrifted in Hollywood. Quite recently. I would wear this look with my Margiela tabbies because the leather and the leather and then just like the nude underneath cottage core but also like Kim Kardashian Met Gala fantasy combination hybrid dress. It's just a moment. It's giving. All right let's hear it for my 2021 4th of July outfit. Um, I would also wear this if I ever had an account on Farmers Only. Outfit is kind of a funny dichotomy because this dress is a sample from Brandy Melville and this bag is from Telfar. Yeah. <laughs> My shoes, everyone always asks where these are from when I wear them and they're from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they still sell them. Um, but yeah, they're literally Urban Outfitters brand. That's what it says on the sole of the shoe. They're way too big for me, but I've had them for over a year and I wear them all the time anyways. Okay, this is like a workout look. This is athleisure to me, but I'm also still wearing the cowboy boots, but maybe I wouldn't wear them. Um, let's just focus on the items right now. My black biker shorts are from Amazon. 
This top is from Depop and it was a really sweet gift um, from my friend Ali, my best friend, Ali Kenvin. I hope she's watching this. And just as a layering piece, in case I got cold, I would bring this little half button up pullover from the open product, the brand that I was talking about earlier. I just love the pattern on this. I love the texture and the material. It's like pretty lightweight, but it keeps me warm. And see like once the sweater's on, like the boot is kind of fun because it's just like oversized top and then boots. This look is one piece, but it's very much what I would wear to a fashion event, I think. Um, I can't wait for fashion events to be happening again once COVID is over. Um, this dress is from Staud, S-T-A-U-D. Shoes are these little, my shoes are these little Brian Atwood kitten heels that Frank got me on the real real when we were dating and I still have them and wear them. Cause I like them. <laughs> I want to go to a party in this outfit. Like I want to go to a fashion party and mingle and like just be like cute in this look. Okay, another super minimal effort look that instantly looks pulled together. Model off duty vibes. This unitard is from a brand called Tank Air and it is so flattering. It is just like biker shorts and then this kind of like sweetheart neckline cinched breast cupping top all built into one and I just love it. It's so playful. I'd love to wear something like this with tall leather boots in like white or cream. I saw my friend Sarah do that and she looked so hot but I'm pairing this look with a black sandal because I love having my legs just look super elongated. Then my bag for this look, I don't think I've brought this out yet for this video. This bag is from Socks Pots. This was another gift from my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, on to the next look. Let's do something exciting. Okay, this look is for if Lisa Vanderpump ever answers my DMs and gives me the opportunity to meet her and grace her presence. I'm gonna be wearing this look. <laughs> So oh, I wore this dress in a TikTok about blow drying my hair and everyone wanted to know where it was from. It's from Urban Outfitters, haha. <laughs> this bag is from JW Pay. It's always advertised on my Instagram. These shoes are from a brand called Edwina Shoes, but I got them from Buffalo Exchange in New York City. And these sunglasses are Christian Roth. I wear and that's the look okay moving right along I would wear this next look to a meeting because it's like kind of dressed up but it's also super playful and youthful at the same time so this sweater is from Shein <laughs> these pants are from Stein Goya which I was wearing some of their stuff earlier but they're just like pink mesh with like velvety orange flowers all over them. They're so fun and I've never had the confidence to wear them out in public before but wearing them right now is making me want to wear them out in public. Let's do it. Um, and then I just paired my Prada bag because it's nude and goes with everything. Same glasses as before, same shoes as before because a heel is just so classy. I've really been getting into wearing like little heels recently. No photos, please. It's 2004, no photos, please. No photos, please. I love the characters that I'm finding in each of these looks. This whole outfit screams Y2K to me. Um, my skirt is thrifted from Goodwill and Glendale. And it's just like the ultimate like low rise mini denim skirt. My top is from the brand The Open Product. These sunglasses are just torto tortoise shell rectangular frame sunglasses from Axel Arigato. My bag is the Sex Pulse one because I think it's fun for like a little furry bag, shoulder bag moment and like the mixing of prints. And then the shoes that I would do with this look are probably like the pink snakeskin Brian Atwood pumps just to like be a little crazy. 
Okay, I don't know how, but we've made it to look 16, and this one is pretty iffy. But I feel like it's fashion. I feel like it works. I think I, I'm doing something here. Here's the details of this outfit. I am wearing the same thrifted leather jacket that I got in Hollywood as I was wearing earlier. Underneath it, I have on this little number, okay? This corset top is, oh, okay. This top is a denim corset from Doll's Kill. Had it in my closet for quite some time now and I really like it. It makes my boobs look really good. These little boxer shorts have the cutest lace detailing along the top and they are from R13. My shoes with this look are really the make it or break it, love it or hate it item in this look. I mean, so are the boxers a little bit, but I love them. Um, my shoes that I'm wearing with this look that I've paired with this ensemble are these knee-high Doc Martens. And I think these are really fun. I think this whole look is really fun. I don't know where I'd wear it, but <laughs> I'm having fun in it. And I think that's all that matters. All right, look 17. This is a little classier, I think. All of the colors match. I really like doing this. Little black and cream moment kind of outfit. My top is this button down collared short sleeve blouse. That's like ribbed and cream and black, like I said, um, from this brand called Social Work. And then my skirt is like this silky black long skirt with a slit and ruching um, and cream polka dots. All right, look 18. We have sweet, innocent girl Easter Sunday look, but bam, the freaking knee high converse just for some contrast. Um, <laughs> this sweater is from Urban Outfitters. Yep, she is. This skirt is a really cute little oops, satin, satiny mini slip skirt with some embroidery along the hem. And I thrifted this in Boston, Massachusetts. And again, I'm wearing my knee high converse because I just wanted to like make it a little more utilitarian, a little more like combat-y. I don't know, I just wanted like some, some co contrast in this look, but this is look 18. I would wear this anywhere. Okay, I'm running out of things in my wardrobe and ideas for outfits, so I figured we could just do a beach look for look number 19, am I right? Also, let's just pretend that these rolled up sweatpants under my arm or a towel. I'm wearing a really fun, sparkly, shiny, metallic bathing suit from Shein. Um, it's really giving like the Saks Pots Lame material that they've been using. Um, and as like a little wraparound skirt sarong thing, I'm doing my parade silky scarf from their birthday collection because I feel like it has some fun blues and yellows in it that tie in the look. Yeah, these are the vibes. These are the vibes. Okay, look 20 is another school look, school friendly vibes, going to class vibes. She's a scholar vibes. So for this one, I have paired my perverse oversized sweater vest. It's like distressed on along all of the seams with these kind of like pinkish mauvish paisley cowboy jeans from urban outfitters um something really just spoke out to me to me about these jeans on their website i thought they were fun so i got them um i'm doing the like Gucci loafer knockoffs, the cream ones then in terms of accessories the only thing i've changed is i've added lexi lexi lombard's Anna Luisa collab necklace that she made for her 25th birthday. So yeah, this is my second to last look. I would wear it to class. Look 21 is pretty freaking fun. The more I look at it, the less I like it. But then I'm like, it's so simple. There's nothing not to like about it. So yeah, I'm wearing an IMGA bodysuit underneath the 
black Shein cinched skirt I feel like I may have worn earlier in this video. Over all of that, I'm wearing just this Burberry trench coat that I got from Second Street Vintage in New York City. I just paired it with the Steve Madden slides because I live in LA now and I feel like this is just like the casual night on the town look for like a hot summer night and like that's what I'm trying to do all summer once we're fully vaccinated and things are happening, fingers crossed. So yeah, a little celebratory last look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I don't have that many items in my closet, but it was pretty fun to pull out everything I have and put together some looks for you guys, 21 specifically. Um, it was super exhausting. I'm gonna treat myself to vegetating in my bed for a little bit right now, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, you can subscribe down below, hit the bell to be notified anytime I post, which is probably smart because I don't upload that often and it would be nice if people were notified when I did upload, but no pressure, no pressure. Um, yeah, that's today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time, hopefully with a vlog or something fun like that. Bye.